What's up you guys, my name is Roberto, aka Mexipino, and today I'm going to show y'all how to make Birria Lupia. Let's get started. Alright, so here I got 6 pounds of beef chuck steak, about 10 California chili pods, about 4 pasillo anchos, about a dozen chili diablo, about 7 or 8 cloves of garlic, a 1.5 white onion, 5 cloves, Two tablespoons of Mexican cumin and about five or six bay leaves. And a can of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce and limes. You got your consomme de tomate, de pollo, salt and pepper, your menlo, your lumbia wrappers, three carrots and cilantro. Here I'm using Mexican cheese or you can use Oaxaca or whatever cheese you want. Alright here I'm using the Ninja Foodie Instant Pot. You're going to want to set your saute to high. All right, you're gonna wanna start your pot off with some oil here. I'm using some olive oil with garlic. And here you're gonna wanna sear your meat on both sides just to unlock the proteins and get all that flavor out of the meat. And since I have about six pounds, I'm gonna do this in batches. So I'm gonna do about three big pieces at a time. Alright, in the meantime, you're going to want to take all your chili pods, take off all the stems, take out all the seeds and devein them, as well as peel your carrots and cut your onion. This is going to be for the consomme. The, the stew part of this recipe, you're going to want to put all of these chili peppers and carrots uh, into a saucepan with water. You're going to put it over high heat for about 20 minutes until you blend it. This will in turn make the sauce of the stew. All right, once you have all of your meat seared, you're going to want to put all the meat back in the pot, get water, and fill it up past the meat. Uh, since we're using the Instant Pot, you're going to want to put it no more than the max fill line. All right, once you have all your ingredients for the consomme, you're going to want to take about one full cup of the broth. So that way you can strain out the sauce from the strainer. So I blended everything up so I can make more room for the chipotle peppers, the garlic. All right, once you've made room, add your eight cloves of garlic, your one tablespoon of tomato bouillon, your chicken bouillon or chicken consomme, about two tablespoons of black pepper, and about one tablespoon of salt. Again, remind yourself all the seasoning is for about six pounds of beef, so you want it to be flavorful but not too salty. All right, once all the consomme is blended, you're gonna do the tedious part, put it into a strainer, take a spoon and get out all the little seeds and the skin from the chili peppers. Right here, you're going to want to take your Instant Pot, uh, put it on saute or sear and put it on high. Once the meat starts to boil, that's where you can add the rest of your red sauce. Up to the max line, right there. If you need to take out some of the broth, you can. You can just put that in another saucepan, set it to the side for the consomme. So this way you don't overfill your instant pot. And there, take a spoon, give it a good stir. Now you can see that the consomme, the broth is gonna turn red. Just give it some time. Once this comes to a boil again, or even right now, 
cover the lid. And here is where you set your timer. Now right here, you want to set your Ninja Foodi Instant Pot to pressure cook on high. Do that for about 90 minutes to make sure that all the beef chuck is very, very tender. Ooh. Hour 30. It's going to preheat. Once the pressure builds up, you wait and the timer will be done. And we'll see where it goes. We'll see. So now the beta has been in the pressure cooker for 90 minutes and it's going to keep warm for about 24. So we're going to release the valve and let's see what we got. falls apart perfect look at that oh. yeah this right here this video is tender as hell now I'm just to ensure that I shred all the beef take two forks all the meat part we assemble the lumpia this Chinese brand, Menlo, these wrappers, uh, my mom has been using them since I was a kid, so we're gonna go with that, all right? Gotta make sure that the wrappers are thawed out too, so they're not too frozen, these are pliable, thawed out, and let's get started. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you wonder where you get these rolling skills from. Back in the day. <laughs> if you know, you know. Whatever that means. And here I'm just doing a little quick time lapse of me doing the same process to all the other 33 pieces at Lumbia. Repeat this process until you're done with all the meat. Out here, I preheated my cast iron skillet over meat and my heat. Tested the frying oil with uh, a Lumbia. Once it starts to sizzle, then you know you're ready. Here, I'm doing about four at a time for each batch. And we're going to check each Olympia about every two minutes and check underneath. Make sure that both sides are cooked evenly. Check the other side. Roll them around. There we go.
And here, once the lump ears are about finished up, we're gonna take a bowl of your consomme and chop up some cilantro and white onion to put in as a topping to give it some good flavor. And there you have it, Viria Lumpia. This recipe turned out so delicious, tastes crunchy. The Viria was perfect, it was so tender. The consomme, not too salty at all, just right. Uh, this recipe took about three hours, three, four hours, but it was quality time. I had fun making it for just myself and to make the recipe good, you know. I want to share with you guys, I want to share with the world, so hopefully... Maybe this is catch buzz, you know, Bidia Lumpia. It's, I've been looking at it online. It's not really a thing. It's kind of like in custom shops or cafes a little bit here on the West Coast in California, in the Bay Area. Uh, and I thought, hey, I'm Mexipino. Why not t make, you know, the two worlds clash? The Bidia tacos are a new trend. They're so delicious, so easy to make. And Lumpia, who doesn't like Lumpia? I don't know anybody who doesn't like Lumpia. If you don't like Lumpia, there's something wrong with you. You need to go get your... Brain checked by a doctor. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, hope you guys like the recipe. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Throughout 2021 and the years beyond, I'm still going to be making all kinds of recipes Mexican, Filipino, or hybrids of this both worlds, just like this. All right. So, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Take care. God bless.